uh, starting compression of about 1260. And as always, we're using the NX3 ASA Tattoo Softballs. Let's get into it. First bat of night, Monster Legend, 25 ounce, so M2 Tech, Torch. First guy to swing this bad boy, Frigate Arrow. All right, Legend. Monster, Monster Legend, I really enjoyed swinging this bat. I got some really good numbers out of it. I was super impressed by the performance on this bat. You guys know the deal with me and, and Monsters and how I feel about them. But this, this bat right here, it, it, it really stepped up. It really um, showed me something positive to, to, to show. Um, as far as my numbers go on these bats, um, I would, I would totally game one of these if it's there. I wouldn't hesitate even to game one of these if it's there. Um, it, it was definitely one of one of the better bats that I have swung in, in, in the reviews as far as monsters goes, and um, it's 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 probably competing for the for even my better bat um, in general. So um, yeah, I was really excited to swing this. Cool paint job and. I would totally game this up. Legend. Great looking bat. Um, for 25 ounce, it swings really nice. Um, easy to put through the zone, easy to make good, solid, consistent contact. This bat surprised me. It put up some really big numbers. Um, swung really smooth. I enjoyed it. Uh, had a good time swinging it. And this might be my favorite monster we swung. Um, this is right here with the OG DNA as far as swing weight vibe through the zone, crispness on contact. I mean, this thing sounded great, felt great through the ball. You didn't get to miss with it. It was just, hits the ball and the ball went. You, you could work the whole barrel, it felt like. Um, and to be real, this might be my number one monster. Like, if I were to pick one up, this might be the one I would go for if I were to ever grab one. This bat really surprised me, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm 
seen it and said you're a crumb. I'm like, where are you from? Where are you from? things from us out of this, uh, this particular monster. Um, I can echo a few of those. It felt great swinging. Um, it took me a little while to kind of get used to the swing weight. Um, a little while in the cage anyways. Um, feels more end loaded to me than uh, mid load. Um, so I didn't, I did get some good numbers out of it. I didn't get the numbers that I thought I was getting out of it, out of it, the sound kind of throws you off a little bit. I'm still not really used to the clack um, because the best sounding hits were not the highest numbers. So that still throws me off a little bit, but the performance was there. And uh, for me, it was just getting that bat hit through the zone was really easy. And I hit more towering home runs, you know, computer, but um, I could tell I was hitting them pretty far. I just didn't get the higher numbers that I wanted, but still, really good bat in my hands. I would game it. Uh, I've been seeing these online, the prices. I don't know if I would buy it because of that, but I would swing it again. Jay was hitting this thing, and I actually turned around a couple of times because the noise it makes, you kind of it gets your ear, it gets your attention, like, oh, what's going on? What's he swinging? So, this this bat is the real deal. Um, it's something something a little different about this one. Again, the M, the M2 Tech. I didn't really have great numbers with it. I was kind of jumping at pitches and swinging at stuff out of the zone, and I didn't get into a good groove until the next bat of the night. But um, but the, the other guys did, so I could tell in, in the field. Contact points and stuff, uh, the sound it makes this bat's pretty good. As far as the M2 tech goes, we did the white sinister a while back and it was like a dud bat for us, and since then we've put up um, so other M2 techs, the Bliss was another Sinister repaint, and then tonight we did this one, we got the Hulk in there. These, these bats are, are doing decent, uh, you know, for, so our first M2 go was, I think, that Sinister, which set us on a bad pace with that, it put a bad taste in our mouth. But we've, uh, we've come back with these things, and they, they've come back yeah, and put up some numbers. So, uh, again, we'll put some numbers up for this, we'll see where it, where it falls, but this is a solid performer all the way through. 
This is uh, the 25 ounce uh, M2 Tech, just another torch repaint, but there's something a little different about this one, a little bit, a tick above some of the rest that we've swung. So, uh, yeah, grab one if you can. All right, let's go in ending compression of 1240. And that's it on this one. We'll catch you next time.